Hello, Gabriel here. Just going to do a quick lesson on hairpins because I think there's still a lot of people out there that don't know how to do them. Um, we're going to look at it from a few different points of view. Um, I think maybe we'll just watch them first and then see what happens from there. Maybe a good idea. So let's watch them from a cinematic ang angle first, and you can just kind of see what's going on, what I'm doing. Have some thoughts about it first, so I'll just let that roll first. And press jump. So I did a big open hairpin and, and a tight hairpin. So what we'll do first is watch it from this point of view and we'll talk about uh, braking and racing line I think from this point of view so what I want you to think about when we watch them through this time is the fact that I am following a racing line like we're on a track I'm going to the very outside of the corner I'm turning in cutting across the apex of the hairpin and coming out letting it run right to the um, outside of the corner on the corner exit. With braking, um, I tend to brake a little late on this uphill section. I mean, with braking you're just going to have to kind of figure it out, but what I'd say is while you're still learning them, it's okay to brake early, gently, and then kind of see how you feel. You know, imagine you're coming up to a red lights on your daily drive, you know, coming off like a, a jaw carriageway or something, you know, you're kind of breaking down from 70 all the way down to 20 or whatever, you know, you do it gently, do it progressively while you're still learning, and that's, that's okay, that's, you can, that's, that is acceptable. <laughs> so, with those things in mind, let's watch them again. <laughs> That's simple. Okay, now let's watch from this point of view where you can watch the hand, handbrake. So with the handbrake, what you want to do is hold it a little... hold it for about a full second or until, you, you know, I think a lot of people tap it. What you want to do is actually hold it for a bit and turn the car at the same time. And you want also want to only be handbraking when you've actually chained down to the appropriate gear for the corner. So we'll watch it again, you can see what I mean, hopefully. I mean this is the best I can do from <laughs> with the with the onboard. It might it might be a little dodgy looking, but hopefully you'll get a good idea. There is one other way I can think of showing you what I'm on about uh, if this doesn't work too well. So we'll watch it from here first. And the rest jump, maybe. short there, but it um, seems to be working for me. But we'll watch it from this point of view, and you uh, maybe can see my back, back tyres locking up. Oops. So I'm actually holding it for a reasonable amount of time there, about a half a second or so. Great living Now, I, I admit I'm holding it for a bit, a bit less than I than I thought I was, but still, don't be afraid to hold on to it for a bit and wait for the car to get to the angle that you want it. And which brings me to one other point that I want to point out, which is um, don't over rotate the car, because when when you rotate the car too much you're going to lose speed particularly on the exit because your uh, your car's fighting against the uh, momentum traveling in a different direction to uh, the road basically 
bounce so you can see while I do turn in quite severely at no point is my the front of my vehicle facing so if we do this camera you can see that it, it sort of it still just turns around the corner I don't throw the car in I turn the car around the corner see just there in fact I do make a slight mistake I've actually over rotated the car just a little tiny bit you can see so so we come around and at that point I've just over rotated the car actually like what I want like the car should be facing more in that direction at, at this point so I actually made a mistake and you can hear it in the acceleration and speed and see it in the speed of my car Yeah, that little pause and, and brake and acceleration, that's what you don't want. This corner I do a better job of not turning the car too much. And uh, you'll see that from this point of view. You can see the front of my car is essentially always sort of facing just a little, just a little bit to the curb, but um, in the direction of the curb. But generally, it's sort of, it's not. The car's not been thrown in. It, the car, I'm, you know, it's the car isn't working against any lateral force. It's just driving the car around, which means we allowed we come out perfectly on the exit of the corner. So you can see I come up to it, turn the car, and just drive the car through it. There's no throwing. It's all driving the car around. This is what people mean when they mean when this mean um, fast in, sorry, <laughs> slow in, fast out. What it means is at this point you're slow. This is the slow point so that you have time to angle the car to how you want it to be to set the car up for the corner. The fast out means that you allowed yourself to get back on the power throughout the corner, throughout the whole corner. That's what slow in, fast out means. So um, I hope this tutorial is helpful and uh, I'd like to think that I didn't ramble on about anything today, which uh, is an achievement in itself. So uh, yeah. Hope this helps. Okay, bye.